Hi there, it's Liam from Caravans UK here with another instructional video. Uh, this time it's for the PowerTouch Evolution Motor Mover. So we'll get straight to it. And the first thing that we need to do whenever we're going to operate our motor mover, just come to the front of the van, just have a little double check, make sure we've got our handbrake on, which we have. Uh, we don't want it rolling away anywhere because what we're going to do now is just check that we've lifted up all the legs, which I know that I have on these three. But what I've done is I've left the back one at the end ready to do so that you can see me lift it up. So I'm just going to lift this last one away. The last thing we want to do is start dragging away any legs with us. So the first thing that we need to uh, talk about is the actual sort of principle of how a motor mover works. So you can just see you've got your wheel on there, uh, sorry, your roller on there. And that roller needs to attach itself onto your wheel. Uh, and when the roller rolls, it rolls your wheel. So um, it just basically, it's a bit like Meccano really, so it's a really simple concept. Uh, so what we have to do first of all, is to move the roller onto the wheel. And to do that, we've got a sort of ratchet. I'm gonna pop that on here. I find the right nook. So we're having it on this angle, because what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull it on to the wheel. So it can give a, have a bit of give. So once it gets to this sort of um, moment, there is a bit of pressure put back on us against the wheel. So we just have to keep pushing it down like that and it'll lock itself into place. There you go, you certainly heard that. So once it's locked in, you can just see that it's applied to the wheel as well. We'll just take away the ratchet on there as well. And we'll just pop that down, ready to use in a minute. Now it's always worth having a look on the other side of the van to make sure that it has applied on both sides. Now the principle on a motor mover as well is there's a bar that goes through the middle of the van and as you apply one side it sits itself on the other side as well so as you can see that's already on there so if it, if it hadn't attached properly we may have to repeat the process on the other side as well it's always worth just checking both sides to make sure that it's applied properly so once you've applied the motor mover onto the wheels uh, what we can do is we can actually take the handbrake off because we don't need that anymore because it's the motor mover that's holding the caravan in place so if i just come to the front obviously i'm aware that there are lots of different types of handbrakes but in our case it's just a button push and then a bit of pressure on there so as you can see the caravan's not going anywhere it's all perfectly well kept in place there by the motor mover so the next thing we're going to do uh, we're going to turn the motor mover on uh, and to do that come into the battery box here just open that up and as you can see here's what i made earlier got a little key here and this is the isolator key and what this does it provides power it sort of turns on the motor mover if you like by diverting the power from the battery to the motor mover and we need to do that by popping the key in here and just turning it until it's positively clicked so it's in place there so now i'm quite comfortable that all the power from the battery has been uh, diverted to the motor mover so the next thing we're going to do is going to activate our control so this is what the control is going to look like and to turn it on we've got two control two little uh, power buttons there you're going to press those together at the same time you'll see it boot up and that means it's searching for the signal and when it goes solid it's found the signal box inside the caravan so i'm quite happy that that's found the signal box and if you just notice on there we've got a red line a little outline of a caravan so that's forward that's backwards and you can also pivot so that'll turn one wheel uh, but ne neglect to turn the other one and the same goes there as well so you can pivot on your axle for extra maneuverability so if i just press forward there you go you just see the caravan moving forward they're not especially fast but they certainly do do the job and it's worth worth noting as well that when you take your finger off the uh, directional button it does just stop so there's no need for a brake because when you take your finger off, it just stops. And as I say, if you just press on the pivot button, it will just move around as well for just extra maneuverability, if you like, on there. All right, so I've made it do a little dance. Uh, I've had my fun. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it off. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I would advise the first thing that you do, just for safety, is come straight to the front and turn this handbrake back on. So just pull it back on. Because that way we know whatever we do next, we've turned that handbrake on and our caravan's not going anywhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn the controller off by pressing on that button, just the one. As you can see the light's gone out. So once the light's gone out, we're happy it's gone out. Give it a little press if you want to, just to make sure. 
So we can put that to one side and then we need to uh, unisolate the power if you like. So we're going to just deactivate the motor mover via the isolator key by twisting it and just taking it out completely. Keep that with the um, controller because you're obviously always going to need both of them at the same time. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to deta detach the motor mover. So we're going to actually take the mover away from the wheel so that it's free to move again. And to do that, we we'll do what we did before, but the opposite. So we're just going to pop down on this side like that. So it's like it was when we applied it. And instead of pushing it, we're going to pull it and it'll come away quite nicely. Just like that, as you can see. So it does give a little bit of pushback. So just be prepared for that. And you can just take it away. Uh, and it's always worth, as I said, just at the beginning, when we're applying it, we do the opposite of when we're applying it. And we just go around and double check and make sure it's come away from there. So I'm quite happy with that. So if I wanted to, I could just pop that onto my car and tow it away. So thank you very much for watching and I hope that's been helpful.